Right. So about two weeks ago, we did a reading of a CIA document that was a proposal of a whole bunch of ideas for what we should do in Cuba that Mr. Well, Mr. President JFK decided to not go with. Um, the next week, we talked about some things that he did go with that were not so scrupulous. And tonight, we're finishing that up. So this is Operation Mongoose. We're finishing up from page whatever. We got two pages left. We're in segment D, task 25. Uh, this is the psychological proposals or tasks that are due by the FBI and a few other places um, for next actions in Cuba. All of this was authorized uh, by President JFK. And as far as I know, most of it was at least implemented to the point where they were moving in that direction before things went south in Cuba. Here we go. D, psychological. Task 25, USIA to submit plan by 15 February for the most effective psychological exploitation of actions undertaken in the project towards the end result of awakening world sympathy for the Cuban people as a David battling against the communist regime as a Goliath and towards stimulating Cubans inside Cuba to join the cause. It, you know, it, it actually, it's exactly quoted the cause <laughs> task 26 cia to submit by 15 february its operational schedule for a psychological campaign to provoke a relaxing of police state control within cuba this is to include effective means of publicly indicting people's criminals again quotes because they're pushing that narrative for justice after liberation of cuba not only individual top officials, but members of the Vigilancia, etc. Task 27, CIA and USIA will report on progress as of 15 February in developing identification of the popular movement inside Cuba as with songs, symbols, and propaganda themes. It, no, no, I'm I, I'm not making this up, people. It literally says propaganda themes. It, it's, I mean... <sighs> Task 28. By 15 February, CIA will report on plans and actions for propaganda support of the popular movement inside Cuba. Included will be exactly what is planned for use by the movement inside Cuba and feasibility of using smuggled food packets, such as the I shall return cigarette packets to Philippine guerrillas in World War II as morale boosters in generating the popular movement. Segment E, this is the military action tasks. These are the military action tasks, rather. Task 29, defense to submit contingency plan for US for use of U.S. military force to support the Cuban popula popular movement, including a statement of conditions under which defense believes such action would be required to win the project's goal and believes such action would not necessarily lead to general war. Due 28 February. Task 30. CIA to submit by 15 February. It's operational schedule for sabotage actions inside Cuba. Yeah. Sabotage actions inside Cuba. Sabotage actions inside Cuba, including timing proposed for the actions and how they affect the generation and support of a popular movement to achieve the project goals. Task 31. CIA to submit specific requests to defense for required support by defense as early as possible after its plans firm up. Requests for all major needs are expected by 23 February. Task 32. Defense will submit plan for special operations, use of Cubans enlisted in the U.S. Armed Forces due 28 February. 
I'm going to read that one again. Defense will submit plan for special operations use of Cubans enlisted in the U.S. Armed Forces due 28 February. Six. I like that they went, that I've done this. They went from um, E, military action, to the Roman numeral six for future plans. Consistency, people. By 20 February, it is expected that sufficient realistic plans for individual tasks will have been received and initial actions started to permit a firm timetable to be constructed. Since the president directed that the chief of operations conduct the project through the appropriate organizations and departments of the government, and since these U.S. organizations are mainly in the initial inventory and development of capabilities phase concerning assigned tasks, a precise operations timetable as of today would be too speculative to be useful. Last paragraph. CIA has alerted defense that it will require considerable military support, including two submarines, PT boats, Coast Guard type cutters, Special Forces trainers, C 54 aircraft, F 86 aircraft, amphibian aircraft, helio couriers, Army leaflet battalion, and Guantanamo as a base for submarine operations. Did I read that right? CIA has alerted defense that it will require considerable military support, in, including two submarines, yada, 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 and Guantanamo as a base for submarine operations. Uh, yeah, I read it right. Also, CIA apparently believes that its role should be to create and expand a popular movement, illusory and actual, which will create a political climate, which can provide a framework of plausible excuse for armed intervention. This is not in conformity with the presidential directive now governing project tasking. Actually, the role of creating the political climate and plausible excuse for armed intervention would be more properly that of state and defense if such an objective becomes desirable. So they're basically saying, you know, there comes a point in time where the state and the defense departments are willing to ignore, it seems, the presidential direction of things and do their own thing. I could be wrong. You tell me. Let's read it again. This is not in conformity with the presidential directive now governing project. It, it's capital P project for project mongoose slash project Cuba for project tasking. Not in conformity with the presidential directive now governing project tasking. Actually, the role of creating the political climate and plausible excuse for armed intervention would be more properly that of state and defense if such an objective becomes desirable. Anywho, that's a wrap on Operation Mongoose slash Project Cuba slash Project Mongoose blah, 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 blah. Uh, this ended up leading to what we read two recordings ago um, as far as trying to further implement PSYOPs at a more detailed level. Uh, those reports, those proposals came about three months after this. Man, you know, it, it's it's amazing. It's I feel like we've just read a tactical manual on on disrupting and manipulating the world for support against uh, any political enemies the U.S. might have. It, there's no way 
they would ever use that on political enemies within the U.S. I mean, that would just be ridiculous. Anywho, it's St. Patty's Day, and everyone is Irish tonight, so get out there, enjoy it as best you can, and do it, do it safely. And uh, so next week, we're back to UFOs, because that's what really people want to hear. And we're going to make it happen. You've spoken. More UFO stories coming soon. Real documents from the CIA. You're going to love it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. You know, if you think about it, a like or a subscribe, would that be a terrible idea? Uh, every little bit helps. Thank you. Happy St. Patty's Day.